So out of all of the years that I've been skating, I have never once owned a cruiser board. So today, I'm gonna make my dreams come true. I'm gonna be setting up my one of my old decks with these nice little cheap, soft, 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 soft wheels. Uh, they're about 58s, 59s. It's gonna be awesome because I'm gonna be cruising around really nice and quiet. All of all the years that I've been skating, I've been just cruising with my street board. And it is the loudest thing, especially when you're cruising at night, waking up all the neighbors and stuff. It'll be good because I also film and it I feel like it'll just be less noise pollution. And you're also probably wondering why I'm in the back of my van. I just came out of the Salem Croc Center. I was playing basketball with a few people. I didn't realize how weak my legs got. Back when I was in grade school and high school, I, I used to play lots of basketball uh, in conjunction with skateboarding. One second. Those were the years when I was jumping off really big stuff and not really hurting myself. And I was landing pretty hard and I was doing some pretty gnarly gaps and drops and rails. Uh, well, not so much rails because I'm not a, I'm not much of a rail guy. If you are big into skating, supplement it with basketball because it, it'll seriously uh, uh, being able to pivot and turn and jump, especially it'll increase your chances of first of all strengthening those uh, joints, your knees, ankles for those high impact uh, landings that you'll be doing. Baby mama's getting some food right now from the store and I'm over here with uh, my baby boy uh, putting these board, uh, putting this board together. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Alright, a quick recap. I'm using blank soft gel wheels, 58 millimeters, silver trucks hollows, tactic skateboard, size 8, and blank hardware, blank bearings, ABAC 5s. And this is my cruising filming board. Can you say, yeah? Now it's just gonna be a waiting game, waiting for the girls to get back. I also have to make a quick pit stop over at Best Buy. I had unknowingly made my primary GoPro case that it came in. Uh, I accidentally uh, punctured a hole in it uh, unknowingly and now it's no longer waterproof. I've been going to the coast a lot and I've been surfing uh, just because there's not much stuff to skate. There are private skate parks around uh, around here but uh, and no places that I can go anyway so I usually just go to the coast and surf as much as I can uh, <laughs> to try to keep up with uh, the urge, the itch to skate. I'm gonna be getting a waterproof case so I can take you guys along with me while I'm surfing. Uh, I'm not all that great in surfing, I just I just do it for fun. Granted, there are uh, the unknown creatures that lurk in the water, in the murky waters, but I try not to let that scare me. The thing that scares me about the water is sharks. Sharks and seaweed. <laughs> Uh, seaweed scare me the most just because my leash that's hooked up to my ankle as I was taking the rip current out to the waves uh, My leash got caught in one of those crazy seaweed things that look like a bullwhip I got caught in one of those and it freaked me out because I thought it was a monster <laughs> seaweeds That's a no-no sharks are definitely no-nos It is the next day, and I'm just now backing out of my driveway. So today's plan is going to be, is first I gotta go grab some gas. I'm gonna be going to Amsville Skate Park. It is not my typical skate park. It is an all tranny skate park. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna have some challenges over there, but I'm willing to just go all out on it. Not so hard to the point where I wreck myself like I did last time. And it's funny because it just ha that time it happened so early in the session that I didn't even get to enjoy the rest of my day. I like, literally I got there, I skated for f five minutes, and then I took a slam, and then I screwed up my ribs. So that's not, it. I'm not planning to do that today. I'm gonna take it easy. That Amazon skate park is massive and uh, the last time I went there, people were airing in and out of the spines, over, just 
just everywhere. It was amazing. I did start off skating transition uh, the first the first time I started skating. I skated transition, and I noticed that I was when I came to street, I was doing really big things. I was doing gaps, big for a, like a 12 or 13 year old. <laughs> and then it progressively got bigger, you know? I started doing rails, and although I'm not a big fan of rails, uh, transition skating, just being able to pump around really fast, doing really huge uh, errors, and I would never do any flip tricks, obviously, just because I didn't, I didn't know I didn't do proper flips, but. Being able to tackle something that's bigger than you, like a six footer or a eight foot eight footer uh, transition uh, half pipe or quarter pipe or launch ramp, you know it it boosts your level up a little bit. After the skate park, I'm gonna be headed over to just south of Lincoln City uh, to Otter Rock, A.K.A. the Devil's Punch Bowl. Uh, yes, it is an area where a lot of uh, novice and beginners tend to surf. I consider myself to be a novice at surfing. I'm going the right way, very good. Vlogging and driving are the hardest things. It's like playing Pokemon Go. I, I don't... I've made it a point not to play Pokemon Go uh, while driving. Just for the specific... If I was a passenger, then that's fine, but... Uh, driving, I've, I've made it clear to myself that I will not play because out of all the reports that have been coming out stating that people have been getting into crashes, people have been jumping off of cliffs, people finding dead bodies, uh, you know, without paying attention to any of their surroundings, that's something that I don't want to encounter. I did purchase a, a GoPro case, so I'll be able to take you guys uh, out to the water with me. I do have both uh, two of my boards here. Uh, I got a six, I got a six footer and a nine footer. Uh, so hopefully the waves are gonna be decent. Okay, so you're practicing your surfing on really small waves, like three footers and whatnot. And there comes a point where, okay, you get yourself a smaller board, a short board. Uh, and you start surfing with it and you're thinking man I can't okay I could I could paddle out and I'm, I'm punching through waves real easily and you try to catch a wave and it's just you're just not catching it and you're thinking man it's not it's not doing it for me I don't this board sucks and you're trying to find the the best boy that would catch those the best small board or short board that would catch little waves without considering the fact that you have to go farther out you literally would have to go if you can break that mentality of okay jumping from three two or three footer waves to like five to eight footer waves then you'll that short board will start to work properly for you. It requires a lot more speed generation. It requires a lot more, um, a lot more balance, especially. Maybe six sessions ago, I figured that out. I was really struggling surfing, you know, like three or four footer, and I went for it, and I caught a really decent sized wave. It was probably an eight. And it barely, it was going to the left, so I caught a left. And that was my first left ever. And I took it all the way down to shore, and it was great. All right, story time. <laughs> On this road, I was riding my sport bike out here. There was about a dozen peacocks just out playing in the road, in the middle of the road, and some were on the side too. I tend to go a little fast, uh, especially on the twisties here. As soon as I was coming out of a turn, I nearly hit one of them. And so I slowed way down as soon as I passed them. And it was a beautiful, they were like, I think they were all males because a lot of them were, uh, they had really colorful, bluish, greenish colors. They are really beautiful looking. It looks like they weren't scared. They didn't have their things going. <laughs> I stopped and I backed up and I tried to uh, pet them. <laughs> uh, luckily they didn't attack, they did approach me and they were really kind, they were really gentle creatures. That 
would suck hitting a peacock, man. I've already hit like one squirrel in my life and that like tore me apart, man. I literally like stopped and I had to like think, like I had to like process that I just killed something. I think the reason why I think that way is that I remember a long time ago, I was forced to watch someone butchering uh, this guy cut off the head. I started to cry. I don't know, it just changed my life. So while I'm filling up, I'll show you guys what I'm working with today. <laughs> I was able to get this nine footer and this small Dodge Neon. I got a nine footer and a six footer right there. Tight fit, but it works. Why am I always the late one? Dang. Well, we're here. And we're gonna go ahead and hit up. Hit up these park, a park, 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 park. There's some here, there's honeycomb. I got a whiz, dude. <laughs> So I promised Neil that I was gonna learn blunt to fakies. Uh, for some reason, I have switch blunt to fakies. I have everything blunt on switch, but I can't seem to do it regular. So I'm gonna learn it on this here, and I'll figure it out. So I know for sure I got those. Now, just combining that together, letting go of that nose. Woo! Wow, uh, believe it or not, that blunt to fakie was an absolute milestone for me for some reason. Uh, thank you, Neil, for teaching me how to do that. Uh, yeah, that opened up a whole new world of transition skating for me. For some reason, I've always, always been scared of hanging up. And that's the frustrating part too, because I remember when I was learning it switch, uh, my knee popped out on that one too, and it didn't feel all that great. But, and I, I ended up getting it, but with regulars, I just, it's just a mind. <laughs> I got blunts to fakies out of the way. I was able to do a lot of the goals that I was intending to do here today. So that deserves a thumbs up for me. Yay. The fact 
that our legs feel like noodles after skating that park. We decided not to go uh, surf today. Instead, we're gonna head down to a body of water and try to find ourselves some Pokemon. Yay! My phone was being retarded. It, just kept, <laughs> it got stuck and it just kept saying rerouting, rerouting. <laughs> Flowers instead of flights. All right, I'm over at Neil's place. Just uh, going to make a pit stop and then head over to find some pokies. Yay! Murder weapons. Murder weapon. So that about concludes this vlog. I didn't do too well playing Pokemon just because I was unable to get anything. I'd like to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you guys like it, uh, please go ahead and slap a like on it. And if you guys have any video ideas, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Julius. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Laters. Yeah. Yeah.